Mental well-being is really important, especially in today's society where we seem to always be switched on. We need to give our brains a chance to rest and relax. We'll all face difficulties, but I guess it's about how we deal with those difficulties and having some tools that help you to deal with, with stressors. So the six ways to well-being are keep learning, stay active, take notice, connect, give and care for the planet. Keep learning. We know how important learning is for our brain development. Learning can be about learning a new skill or it could be about learning about yourself and what makes you tick. Staying active. We know how important this is, not just for mental health but, but physical health. I know that sometimes motivation can be difficult but I defy anyone to say that they, they didn't feel better after taking part in exercise. Taking notice is about living in the moment and, and giving yourself some downtime. Um, this might be through mindfulness and meditation or it might just be getting really involved in the activity you're doing rather than letting our thoughts fly in a million different directions. Connecting with others. We know we're social beings um, and that we, we thrive in groups and I know that campaigns within the WI such as the campaign against loneliness um, is working towards making better connections between people. Give. I think being able to put someone else's um, well-being and needs before your own, it sort of stops you from thinking about your own issues and helps you to be able to empathise with, with other people. The last one is caring for the planet. I think a walk in the woods or listening to the sound of the sea, these beautiful natural places can really have a calming effect on our minds. We need to be looking after the planet so we've still got these natural places to, to enjoy. The parts of well-being that are particularly important to me, um, it's quite difficult to choose because so many have helped me through my recovery from depression. I feel like the most important activities for me um, are running and yoga. And I'm definitely not a, a sporty type um, and I've definitely found running a challenge but I think that's what keeps you going. I run with other members of the WI and in a running group, so it's about connecting. Um, I often go to park run where you're connecting with lots of different people and having a personal goal. You know, for me to start with, it was just running 5K under 30 minutes. Um, and now, this year, I've actually completed my first marathon. And the euphoria that you get coming over that finish line is like nothing else and I'm sure I'll be signing up to do another marathon before long. Um, along with running, I do quite a lot of yoga. I, I am quite a busy person and I like to be doing all the time. So yoga's really good for me because I'm still doing something, but I'm also slowing down and, and giving uh, my, my brain and my, my body a bit of a, a rest period. In terms of my WI, Tea and Tarts, I mean, we're, we're very good at um, giving. We tend to support a local charity um, and we've run um, afternoon teas and had fundraising stalls. We've provided all the volunteers for our local park run um, and we've taken part in local litter picks and tried to cut down on our plastic waste, um, getting rid of disposable cups and cutlery for meetings. All these activities are helping us to grow stronger connections um, as a group. So I think Tea and Tarts is becoming a place of acceptance and a, and a safe place for people to talk about their mental health. So I'd encourage all WIs to inspire their members to get creative with the six ways to wellbeing.